hands down the best place I've been to in Java. Why don't more people come here? Good morning from Dasun Batu, or what locals call Nepal Van Java. Now, we arrived here yesterday into this community and it was really difficult to get to because it's not on the main tourist track. I think in the area, a lot of Indonesians love it to come here on the weekends or maybe to get away during the week, but it's not something that a lot of people know about. It is a small village nestled in the mountains and because of all of these colorful houses, locals started calling it Nepal in Java, but this is mainly an agricultural area and to get around, you can't actually rent a motorbike yourself, even if you're Indonesian. And that's because a lot of the roads here are so winding, twisting, it's really hard to get around. Thankfully, the local area does have a group of guides with set prices that will take you around for the day. And so that's what we're going to do today. I am so excited about it because it's nothing like I've ever done in Java. So I think it's going to be a special day. All right, so we just popped across the street from the homestay for breakfast. It's a small cafe to where all of the Ojek drivers go, but actually we came here last night because at seven o'clock, every place in the area was closed except for this one. Yeah. But it was actually a good thing because dinner was fantastic. We had uh, soto ayam, and I'm gonna have it again for breakfast because it was so good. But I wanted to talk a little bit about getting here because it was kind of interesting. Now I made a whole video about it, but I kind of glazed over the part where we took the Gojek or the Ojek to here. Now, in the end, it cost us 40 each. And that ride was so steep. It was cliffs on one side. And so you really did need to know how to do it. So if you are a Westerner and you want to rent a bike to come up here, uh, I don't know, you gotta be really careful coming up here. You also can't get like a little scooter. You have to have like a very powerful bike. The road, the road is not like unusual in the city. Uh, no, uh, it's a country road. Yeah. But the other thing is that I saw YouTube videos and they said there were no, you couldn't get here by car. That's not true because we saw tons of locals up here on a Sunday show up on trucks. So you can get up road. here by oh. truck, yeah but you would have to find that truck or transportation. So I would just say in the end, it cost us for both of us 200,000 to get here from Joja to our door of the homestay. Yeah. So if you can find 200 or even close to that with a private car that will drive you the whole way, that's what I would do. We thought it would be cheaper to take public transportation and we just didn't look into private cars, but I think actually that would have been the better way to go. But anyway, just wanted to share that. And now it's breakfast time. They brought the food over there because they didn't want to be in camera. So soto ayam, it's just a really traditional chicken soup and it's always very tasty. And I like it because it usually comes with, it's not like having um, indomie or something like bakso that's a really processed food. It tends to be a little bit healthier especially in village areas, and they use like village chickens. It's also usually really tasty. It comes with some hot sauce, which is very hot. Tried it last night, it was very hot. It's like we're in East Java all over again. As long as you are in the cold mm. area, mm. in the cold weather, like in this mm. village. Oh, this is good. All the food is tasty. Mm -hmm. When you're in the altitude, the food tastes better and you can eat more because it feels like you're burning more calories because it's harder to do everything. Mm. All right, just getting ready to head out. I guess this is a no helmet day, but we're going to Silanchur, which is a place where there's a huge mountain. I think there's some rice patties, it's supposed to be beautiful. There's a lot of clamping out there, so you can stay there overnight, but it's a great place to take photos and to walk around. It's supposed to be very fresh. So that's our first stop.
All right, so we've arrived at the first stop, just getting a quick drink. This place is beautiful, but also I have to say, that drive was amazing. I feel like this is one of the best things we've done in Java, don't you think? Yeah. The drive was amazing. Just seeing all of the people, oh my God, all of those people were so old, really? so old and so fit, and then carrying all of really these happy, uh, bushels yeah. of like, they, they were like in their 80s. Wood and fire. Wood, sticks, brush, like the amount of work that they do, it was just really incredible. I feel like you don't really see something like this is really the countryside. They have, they have good, good, strong bones. So this is Silanchor village and this village is taking advantage of the tourism a little bit, adding it to their agriculture. As you drive through, you can see this is farmland. Like you're really in farmland, not farmland for tourism. So this is a very popular spot to go hiking. This is the third largest volcano, mountain, in Java. And so it's a very popular spot. And if you go further up, I think that's like a base camp. But um, a lot of local Indonesians come here on the weekends. And so also the other thing is, I'm really glad we went with a guide because those roads are crazy. Some of them yeah. going downhill were completely broken apart. At one point, a car was coming around. I was like, whoa! Very challenging. Very challenging. I mean, even for him, at one point we talked about renting a bike and coming up here, but I think that would have been a mistake. Also, you just mentioned um, helping the local economy. If you yeah. really care about a place, if you really want to support countries and towns, like hiring local guides, eating in local places is the best way to do it. So anyway, but now we're going to check things out. So this is Silan Chor. Silan Chor Village. So there are a couple places. This is probably perfect for photos. There's a walkway out there, but we're going to go to the very top and see what's going on up there. is so beautiful this is a Monday we came here yesterday and just decided to chill at our homestay because it was so nice and I'm kind of glad we did because I think if we had taken a tour yesterday it just would have been busy there were so many people in town on a Sunday and today it's just very relaxing we could stay here all day but we're heading next to Suko Matmur which is like an agricultural village so we'll see a little bit more of it but even just being here, you see all these people come in, like these farmers with these huge bags. And I don't know how old they are, but they look like they're 80 and yet they're so strong. It's just really, really impressive. I feel very lazy as a person. at Suko McMore, this is one of the spots I really want to see because number two is tourism here. Number one is agriculture. That's because this is the base of a volcanic mountain and it's active. And so all of this volcanic soil is so rich. You can grow things here. You can't grow anywhere else. When I first got here yesterday, I thought, wow, this really reminds me of the Andes. But actually coming up and through the farms and just seeing how they use traditional techniques, but also irrigation and modern techniques, it's much more organized than anything that I saw in the Andes in Ecuador. It's really fascinating how all of these small farmers work together. Now coming up here again, I have to say, I'm so glad we got a guide. Alan is on the other side of the camera and aren't you glad we are on big bikes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. So Alan was just saying you need a big bike or you need a car. And there are cars that come through here, but you also need to be with someone who knows what they're doing, knows where they're going because there are so many roads here and some of the spots are really tricky. And so these guys know what's coming up and so it's great. It's just really beautiful out here. You've got all of this like patchwork. It's a patchwork quilt, a farm. And then this, wow, this mountain in front of us is just like so impressive. I don't know when it's gonna erupt, but hopefully not when we're here. It is still active.
shortage of spots here that you can have like a photo opportunity. They create them for you. They even have drinks here, but they take all of kind of the best lookouts. Indonesians love lookouts and they love photography. Yeah, it's actually good because it makes me feel less self-conscious, especially there's a woman right here. I think she's shooting us. We are up higher, but the interesting thing about here is like it'll be sunny and then the clouds will come in and it looks like yeah. it's going to rain and then it gets really sunny again because it's so windy. The wind just keeps pushing clouds in and out. Do you think this is the most beautiful place we've been in Java? In Java, I think so. So far. So far, yeah. I'm surprised that it's not more popular. Indonesians know about it. There are a lot of Indonesians here. It's beautiful. I think also sometimes tourism can be bad because it brings in too many people, but it seems like they're doing it in a sustainable way. And the roads are improving for yeah. locals, which is great. For the farmers to have wider roads to be able to use trucks, I think is a good thing because you saw like these people just carrying everything on their back or on the back of bikes. So it's very, very heavy. Heavy hard work and you can really see that you make use of the terraces that is what's missing in South America although the Inca and the Canary people use terraces in South America for some reason Ecuadorians don't and that's why they're experiencing a lot of landslides but here they seem to really be taking care of land and using like great ancient techniques I don't know it's just awesome here honestly I think we could spend a week here yeah easily it's, uh, fresh in here and it's so fresh relaxing yeah right, anyway let's see we are going to be tourists and take some instagram photos because we don't have any photos yeah that's up next So we are at the last stop. I think this is the highest that you can go by vehicle, by bike. By bike. Yeah. There are roads up there that locals are walking on and also bringing down more sticks and logs for fire. And like, it's crazy because they are so much older than us. And when we got here, I said to Alan, I said, should we just let the guides go and we'll walk all the way down? And what did you say? Yeah. No, you said no, you didn't want to walk all the way down, <laughs> lying for the camera. So we are going to, I think, go halfway and then uh, maybe we'll get out and take some pictures. The reason why I want to get let out is so that we don't have to walk up to get some pictures. We always have fun. We did the Jeep tour two days ago. We did this tour. It was fun. Tour. We did a motorbike tour. Yeah, well, we didn't have a guide for that. That was just us. So I'm gonna end this video here because we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the day. Nothing interesting, but this was fantastic. I would say plan, I would like to stay a week. Realistically, I think you need at least two days here so you can arrive and then the next day you can do the tour. Yeah. But I promise you, if you come here just like us, you will wish that you could stay longer because so beautiful, so fresh. All the people here are so, nice and then the guides our drivers are like in it to have a good time in it to take really great uh reels videos photos everything you want so overall definitely yeah, worth it the guide is very helpful yeah the guides here are great they're really good at taking pictures and video anyway until next time we will be still in java but i think the next video will be samarang so we'll see yeah. you in samarang bye-bye <laughs> Joy.
join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.